Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make any photo look better in Photoshop. We're gonna give it deeper colors and more punch. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from photoshopcafe.com. And today I've got a really quick tutorial for you. We're gonna look at adding more contrast and color and depth to our photographs. All right, let's just choose file open, find our image, and then click open. Now this is gonna automatically open in camera raw because it's a raw file, it's a DNG. If you were working on a JPEG, just open it in bridge and then right click and choose open in camera raw. So great, so the first thing we wanna do now is we want to recover our highlights a little bit. So let's go in here and we're gonna recover these highlights and we're gonna in Increase the texture because notice that this is very washed out and we're trying to give it a little bit more depth. All right, so this is the first part. Now, what we want to do is see where it says open, hold the shift key, and this is going to open object. Now we're going to open it as a smart object inside of Photoshop. Let me just hit control zero to fill the screen. All right, still lacking that punch we're looking for, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer. And you could do that by dragging into here. That's a little plus icon. Or hit Control J. Now what we want to do is change the blending mode on the top layer. So we're going to choose where it says normal. Just click. And then go down to overlay. And click on the overlay mode. Alright, now what we've done is we've overlaid this one on top of the other. And you can see... It's looking better, but it's kind of very dark in some areas. So we need to just kind of fix it where it's only going to be hitting the stairs and this rail. So the easy way to do that is to create a layer mask. But I want to create a layer mask that hides the entire image. And then we can just paint in the areas we want to show. So hold down the Alt or the Option key. And then where we have the Add Layer Mask, holding down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, click. And what it's gonna do now is it's going to give us a black mask. Notice that mask has no effect on the image. That's exactly what we want. So now we want to paint it into just the areas we want it. We don't want it on the railing where it just makes everything look too dark. So what we need to do is just make sure we have white as the foreground color. So if we just hit the D key, this will reset foreground background color. So we want white as our foreground color. And let's select a brush. So just hit the B key and this will open up our brushes. Grab a brush and let's give it a soft edge. So what I'm doing is I'm just clicking on the brush settings up here. Take hardness all the way down. And that's going to give you the softest brush. Great. All right. So now what we want to do is make that brush a little bit bigger. And there's several ways of doing this. We can hit the control option and then drag to the right to make it bigger, to the left to make it smaller on Mac. And if you're on Windows, just hit the alt right drag. You can also use the bracket keys to make it smaller or larger. Great. Make sure the opacity is turned up to 100. And now we're just going to paint here. And what we're doing is I'm just painting just on the area that we want to affect. Great. So now these adjustments are only going to happen where we want. If you hit the Alt or Option key and click on the mask, you can see this is where it's going to be applied. All right, we're almost there. But I feel like we still need to add some richness to this. So I want to go back to Camera Raw and the nice thing about having these two layers is the camera raw is going to adjust both of these because they link back to the same smart object. This is why we opened it as a smart object. So double click on the smart object, takes us back to camera raw. And what we want to do now is let's take the temperature. Let's warm up that temperature a little bit. It's definitely looking good. Let's give a little touch there of contrast. Let's push those blacks in a little bit. Little touch of vibrance there. In fact, let's make this even warmer. All right, so watch what happens when I click OK. 
Boom, see how that doubled up on that? And the reason for that is because we're using the smart object. So when it adjusts one, it's gonna adjust both. And if the effect feels a little too strong, we can just wind it back a little bit. So you can dial in the adjustments you want. And if you look at it now, you can see that this wood has a lot more depth and a lot more richness to it than it had before. All right, I'm curious, did you learn anything new in this tutorial? And were you aware that you could use layer blending modes to add more depth to your color and contrast in your images? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, if you guys are new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Uh, consider hitting that subscribe button right now and turn on all notifications. You'll get a new tutorial from me every week. Every Tuesday, I upload my regular tutorial. Join us at 1 p.m. Pacific time for our weekly live stream every Thursday. And each weekend, I upload a Back to Basics weekend video. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.